Good afternoon, everyone. We are on episode 81 of the Rafe Rovers Journey. I am your host, as always, Lutra FM. Um, and I've forwarded it as long as possible. Um, I had to do the Windows update after yesterday's episode. Um, hopefully, it will fix things. But yeah, so we're currently third. We're playing Hearts. So even if we beat Hearts, if we beat them 8 0, we'll be neck and We've got to basically beat them by about three or four goals to count, to give us any chance. Because Hearts have got Celtic last game of the season. Celtic will need to win that. So, um, it's still very tight here. We, we've we got two games. Unless Celtic and Hearts leave both games, we're not going to win the title. We can maybe, hopefully, get second place, though. So, first thing to is we've got to beat Hearts. So, if we don't beat Hearts, we're just going to be third place because it doesn't matter. Because they'll be on 78 points, we'll be on 72 so even if we win that, the last game against Rangers, we won't we won't get second place. So uh, yeah, it's all to play for at the moment, and very important game. But yeah, let's just see how we get on. Um, so we've got tickling goal. Iyanu is right back. Vivers and Diaz as uh, centre back partnership. Backer is left back. Oh, uh, come on. Right, sorry about that. Krasnicki and Petrovic in the middle. Kraul on the right wing for some reason. Um, Bar in the middle and Yamu on the left and Hoyland up front. Uh, this is definitely a must-win game. Like I said, our season depends on it. I feel like if we get second place, I feel like that's progress. If we only get third place, I feel like mm, it's okay. But, you know. I'm just annoyed that we uh, we didn't win the title. Because I feel like we were, we were doing well up until a certain point. The only game really we've got to concentrate on is the Dundee Celtic game. And our own game, obviously. Right, hearts are in possession here. Uh, goal by a player I'm never even going to attempt to pronounce because I will get it wrong. We lose this. Lewis Vaughan's playing the last game of the season. We're going to give him a goodbye. Oh, are they going to cock up here? Press is getting to him. No. Oh, we've nicked it off him. Aniamu. Oh, come on, Aniamu. Let's try and demand a bit more off our players. I feel like we we can do better in this game. Celtic drawing still nil, uh, nil nil. Sorry, we've done D. Nicely defended there. <gasps> that was a hell of a good goal by Adosi. How was that not allowed? He shot from like thirty yards. That was a good goal though. Yeah. If Dundee somehow beat Celtic, we technically could still get second place. That's our only hope now. Unless we somehow win this game out of nowhere, but I can't see that happening. I can see Dundee, I can see Hart scoring again in a minute. Nicely recovered there by Krasnicki. Diaz, all the way back to the goalie. I feel like we need to be a bit more aggressive with our attacking play here. In fact, I'll change that to attacking. 
Oh, good ball. Oh. Uh, right, I don't wait for this highlight to finish first. I'll figure out what I'm doing. Corner to us. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands, what a surprise. Right, swap these two over, put Kral back as right back. Yano can come off, Valencia can come on. Headed there. Right. Come on. We've still got time to get a draw out of this game. Whether that'll help us in any way, I don't think so. But good ball. Go on, Hoyland. All shot by him. Right. Krasniki. Come off. Hodgic can come on. Petrovic can come off. Who are we, who are we putting on for him? Uh. Babascu. And then we'll just put push these up, up here. Come on, that's it. Oh come on. I feel like we're wasting these chances here. Celtic are winning, so they'll probably be, yeah, they're probably going to win the title, aren't they? It'll be them and Hearts now for the title decider. That'd be a good game for a neutral, innit? Uh, Celtic versus Hearts, whoever wins, wins the title. Shame we're not in the mix, though. Alright, let's get this game done now. Uh, looks like it's going to be a penalty. Final nail in the coffin. Actually, I'm going to leave it up to you lot, what I'm going to do. Do you want me to um, carry on this save? Do you want me to do another year? Or do you want me to start another save over um, with the other team that I got a mystery shirt from? Or do you want me to do um, a journeyman save? Or a non-league to... Basically, do you want me to pick a non-league team and then um, try and take them to the Premiership or something like that? Like a level... Not level 20, because that might be too much, but I don't know, a level 10 team or something like that. Just let me know in the comment section. Because I don't, I don't get any comments on my videos, so it just shows that you're you're watching the videos and actually paying attention as well. So if you, if you for the few people who are watching, can you do me a favour? Can you just leave a comment in the comment section on this video? to let me know what you think I should do next. Uh, if you're enjoying it, let me know. If I don't hear anything, then I'll probably just assume that nobody's watching these videos. Nobody's really watching these videos. <laughs> so then I would have to then look at it like that and go, right, what do I need to do? Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, I want to make content that's entertaining for you lot. But um, 
I hope you've enjoyed it. I know we didn't win the Scottish Premiership, but we did very well. We got very close. Um, I will do another season if people want me to do it, but I think if it's up to me, I think I'm just gonna because I just feel like we're just, next season gonna be the same as this season. I feel like we're just gonna we're just not gonna be good enough. So uh, yeah, I'll let I'll like I said I'll leave it up to you lot. If I don't hear anything in the next 24 hours after this video is posted, then I'll just assume that the save is done. So, uh, like I said, if you're enjoying the save and you want me to carry on with it, let me know. Oh, this is taking ages. I think there's another reason why I want to quit this save. I've started a new save with Brighton where I'm trying to sign only sign under 21 players basically from different countries and uh, the save's going so much quicker than this one. Come on. Oh my god, this is dragging. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit downhearted because I just feel like this season's a bit of a... I just feel disappointed. I feel like the team could have done so much. Like, we could have won the title and we didn't, we didn't even get second place. So, I might, I might just need a bit of time to reflect on it, really. Hoyland's out for the last game of the season, which is fine, because we're going to be playing Lewis Bourne up front anyway. If I remember, I'll probably forget no more. Rangers, last game of the season. Coming up in a second. But yeah, moving forward, I'm going to be a bit more slicker with the editing process. Um, I'm going to stop being lazy about it and I'm going to try and learn how to edit it better. So... And I'm also going to basically just, yeah, just try and become a better YouTuber um, so you're more interested in this. So, yeah, right. Um, right, let's see. Oh, yeah, and the ammo's not playing up front because we're putting Vaughn up there. So where is Lewis Vaughn? There we are, Vaughn-y. Hopefully he can get a goal in his last... Uh, Last hurrah here. Um, I forgot to tell you what the lineup was, but it's probably probably basically the same as usual. Right. Yeah, tickling goal. Vivas and Diaz in centre back. Yano is right back. Be Backer is left back. Petrovic and Hodgets in midfield. Crowell on the right. Uh, Babascu in the middle, Louise on the left, and Louis Bourne up front. Celtic are beating hearts at the moment, so Celtic, if it carries on, Celtic will be champions. I kind of want hearts to win it, to be honest. Rangers with the free kick, just over. I think Lewis Vaughan's kept me interested in this save at the start and then obviously signing Deli Alley and Hoyland, which got me uh, enjoying the save. And then obviously I've made a few other players. I turned, oh, there we go, Babascu. Um, you know, get, I've got attached to a few players in this save. I've enjoyed the save overall. I just wished we'd won the title at least once in the save. Uh, I just don't I, don't, I really don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm enjoying it anymore from this point onwards. I feel like another season would be 
a slog. Celtic winning two 0 so that's them probably winning the title. Um, and I don't want it to be. I don't want to come across as bored because, I mean, for instance, um, Lelujo. You can tell when he's not into a save because he's just going with the motions. He's not really that into it. He's talking about everything other than the save. So, you know, and, but then Lelujo probably plays just as much, if not more, football manager than I do. So. I think you just get general burnout playing the game. Like for instance, um, the the new mystery shirt that I got ages and ages ago. Um, I don't. I don't. I've, I've looked at the team. It doesn't really interest me. So I probably won't even start a save with that team. I'll probably just think of another save i'm thinking um for a youtube series i'm thinking of a save where i i take over a team in a small country and i then try and see if i can win a european trophy with that team in a small country maybe poland luxembourg but also try and manage the national team at the same time so try and create a good team with that i, I did a Offline save in Luxem uh, um, Luxembourg, and that went well with the national. I had a couple of decent wins with the national team. Managed to convince a few players to join the national team. Uh, did all right with, with Poland um, as well. So I'm thinking one of them, but um, I'm going to have a think today and then start it probably tomorrow. Start recording it. I just don't fancy doing that other. I'll tell you who the team is. So basically, the mystery shirt I got was uh, a German team called Armenia um, Byfield, and it just it just wasn't the narrative. The narrative just wasn't grabbing me. So um, yeah, it's just one of them, isn't it? So we'll see. Like I said, I'm a bit burnt out by football manager at the moment, which is not good for you lot because you don't want to see that, and I'd rather just be playing it. And enjoying it. Like I enjoy, I'm enjoying the offline save with Brighton at the moment, but I don't want to turn that into an online save because the likelihood is I'll probably get bored of it eventually. I want to, the type of saves I want to do for for YouTube is saves that I'm committed to do at least four or five seasons of it. I might do. Um, there's a there's a ninety nine two thousand database that I've got. Um, that I might use, but then I did, I did one in the, no, I probably won't, ignore that one, there we go, 2-1, how's Lewis form doing, oh, he had to come off, oh, well, how did he do, ah, uh, 6.4, that's a shame, oh, hearts, no, right, well done to Salsi, um, sorry if this episode was a bit depressing, um, but onwards and upwards. Tomorrow will be new save o'clock, unless obviously I get a lot of you mess uh, commenting saying that you want me to keep going. I will keep this save um, in case anybody wants me to go back to it. There you go, sixty million. So the prize money was getting less and less anyway in this deal. Uh, yeah, right. That's, it. That's me done. Um, yeah, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. If I if I know I've got to do one more season, if you want me to give it a go, I will put 100% in it and I will be enthusiastic because I will see that as, right, I've got one season left. I've got to try and win that title and I will put everything in. I will try and sign some of the best players I can possibly sign. I'm obviously, understanding that I am a Scottish Premier League team, so I will be limited in who I can sign, but I will try my best. And um, I will try and make it as entertaining as possible. And I will be a bit slicker with the editing. But yeah, starting tomorrow, if I don't hear otherwise, I'm going to start a new save. Um, I don't necessarily want to do... I wouldn't mind doing a Build a Nation save, similar to Second Yellow Card. But I just don't... I feel like it's such a slog to, to, just to get up, up there. Because of all the things you've got to do. Like, you've got to sign all these different players and then loan them out to different clubs in in that country i think the way i might do it is i might i might what i might do is is take over one club in that country try and win something in europe 
or whatever and then you know so try and dominate with one team in that country in Europe and then resign take over another team in that country and do the same thing over and over again so yeah so I'll see how it goes anyway thank you for everyone that's been following this series if it is coming to an end I really do appreciate it um it, it helped me start my journey as a content creator. So I'll always have a fun, uh, I'll always have a soft spot for Rave Rovers. Um, I still check the results every week. Um, and also I will have a soft spot for this save because it's the first ever save I've done for, well, no, not the first ever save, the Everton one was, but you know, the first proper long-term one I did. So yeah, so thank you to everyone. Much appreciate it. And I'll, uh, like I said, I'll be back um tomorrow with a different save or it'll be this save we'll see but anyway thanks a lot all the best bye